Hey, good morning, YouTube. So, as you can tell, I have a bit of a different background, different tank behind me than normal, and I've got something special lined up for you guys. I am in New Life Spectrum headquarters this morning down in Homestead, Florida, and today I have me, Ian Taput, who is the president of New Life Spectrum, and he is here to answer any of your questions you might have about Spectrum, Spectrum Foods, history, you name it. He's here and will be happy to answer them. In addition, we're going to talk a little bit about Reef Cell. If you aren't familiar with it, you're about to be. So I encourage you to join in and let me tell you a little bit about these fish behind us in the tank too. So come on, Ian. Okay. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Hello. Welcome, welcome. So during the course of this, feel free to ask any questions you have. I'm going to try and rehash some of the questions that came in on Instagram and we're just going to go over a little bit of everything, but feel free to hop in and thank you. Thank you. I do. It's all nice and pretty here at New Life. We, you know, we make fish food, but we're also hobbyists ourselves and love fish, so. And you'll be seeing more of it. You might actually recognize this if you've ever seen any of our uh, pre-chambered videos. Uh, it's uh, the same set we used at yep. the time. Except that I'll let you in on a little secret. At that time, we didn't have this quite built out, so this was all like actually uh, like foam core, <laughs> like stuck to the front of the tanks right. and all this kind of thing, and uh, all this sort of kludged together. But since then, we got our act together, so this is an actual cabinet. And it's an actual everything. So it looks nice. So I'll start out like I usually do. So since I'm on East Coast time, it's not so early in the morning. I've already had my coffee and I'm drinking water now. This is my water bottle I always carry with me, but I am collecting stickers from a lot of Instagram people. That seems to be the trend. They have all these cute stickers. Um, Bahama Llama, I think, um, has this really yeah. cute little llama with an angelfish and like <laughs> snorkel. It's adorable. So I'm like, I need to win one of those stickers, but dang cute fish. She's usually on here. Um, reef Club design on here. Let's see. JC Reef. So yeah, encourage you guys to check them out. But, so, I think this is how flow went. Reef Cell. We do a coral food. I've been talking in the last few videos how I've got a nano tank that I'm setting up and it the water just finally tested good. My ammonia is gone. Nitrites are gone. There's very little nitrate. I think it's safe to put corals in there. Um, so this is what I'm going to be feeding. Get it close enough that you can see. And I just wanted to give you guys a good example. Well, not an example. I'm going to show you the actual food. So it comes in a little container like this. Um, it's powder. It comes with this little. I'm going to make a mess. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this little instruction book and there we go. Where's the spoon? Oh, <laughs> it's in here. So. Maybe the last time we used the demo. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> and it comes with this little um, feeding measuring spoon. So. Which is one cc. Yeah, one cc. So this is kind of filled. If you do any baking at all, they said like a level spoon. Yeah, level spoon. Oh, so okay. it's not a lot of food. Um, and I was like, how often or how long will this container of food last if you're feeding the proper amount? <laughs> Yeah, and I said, it, well, of course, it depends on your bio load. There's no one answer. Uh, that's the beauty of animals. But um, on average, we sort of say to start out with one cc per 30 gallons and kind of test it from there. So given that, like, one of those little tiny spoonfuls is a cc, if it lasts you less than six months, I would be shocked. Yeah. So you can get this, and it's going to last you a long time. You know, I know occasionally people are like, oh, why is it so expensive? Well, you're getting the high-quality ingredients. Reef cell is micro-encapsulated. Um, and that's another reason. Yeah. One thing that's really cool about it, it's going to stay in the water column. It's not going to like, dissolve out. It's going to stay suspended, so your filter feeders are going to be able to get in there and get that. It's going to stay, you know, not everybody's as fast of an eater. Yeah, it's a, it's a completely different process than pellets. Um, it's actually a pharmaceutical uh, process mm -hmm. that they use for time release uh, medicines. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so, so basically, I, I mentioned this on Instagram, but uh, in a nutshell, uh, what we do is we actually take the, because someone asked, like, what was the components of yeah. it? And that was basically, it's the same components that are in our regular foods. Except what they do is we send actually the powder that we create out to the lab. Um, and they grind it down to five microns. Mm -hmm. And if you know, that's really small. That's like one-tenth the size of a phytoplankton. Okay. Um, and... Basically, then we mix that uh, those particulate into alginate, which is all algae. One thing that's very important is we do not use gelatin, which is based on cows. Okay, we use alginate, um, 
And basically, we basically then spray it out and it creates basically beads or droplets that are 10 to 80 microns, um, with 50% or 80% being 50 microns or less. Um, and uh, it's basically a chocolate chip cookie, if you think about it this way, <laughs> where, the, yeah, where the alginate is the dough, mm -hmm. and the uh, particulates of spectrum are the chocolate chips, except That's it's cool. really dense with chocolate chips. <laughs> and it holds it into that matrix. We actually call it a matrix. Um, and what the thing is, is the alginate is not water soluble, so it only will break down to test. We've done demos at like trade shows and stuff mm -hmm. where literally we've kept the same particulates in the water for like uh, five days. And you can still see the perfectly clear water around yep. the particulate when you agitate it. And it's very neutrally buoyant. So it's a very good substitute for phytoplankton and zooplankton, but a lot higher nutrient density because mm -hmm. they don't eat for 18 hours a day, no. right? So it has like 10 times the nutrient density. So it's great. Um, it's actually kind of my baby because in the company I'm the one who uh, fought for that thing's creation and did all the R&D on it. So. That's pretty exciting. So I'm going to show you, we have two different sizes of this. As he was saying, the um, regular reef cell small, oh, make sure I've got the right name. Um, reef cell small, it's 10 to 80 microns and it's this powder. Or you've got the large, which um, 400 to 600 microns, it's, it's almost a, it's like a micro pellet. It's, you know, can't really see. I'm, <laughs> This is a terrible example. Yeah, it is. Because the thing is, is these have gotten big enough that they're about the same size as our small pellets. Yeah, so this would be good for like feeding mandarins, like small little gobies, and anthes. Anthes, small reef fish uh, that are slow eaters. Because it doesn't dissolve, obviously it's good to stay there for a while. Yep. Um, you know, because it will, it'll, it's stable enough that it's not going to pollute as they take a long time. It's obviously very small. And antheses have taken to it quite a bit, um, you know, our own antheses. Yep. And we've kept our gobies and stuff. They've, they've taken to it. We've tested it on that. Um, the small reef cell, you might have, if you, a long time ago, you might have seen it as Nutricel. Uh, yeah. It was brought to my attention. That's not a great name. It doesn't say anything about it. Um, so you might have that. Um, and the Nutricel actually has had a different packaging. I mean, the reef cell had a different packaging before. It's black. Yeah. Dark um, background instead of a white one. So this is all the same evolution. This is a totally new product because we took the same methodology we did for this one and we applied it to a bigger micro pellet. Okay. Makes sense. Good, everybody. So where can you find this? Because I've gotten a lot of people asking me where I can buy um, New Life Spectrum. If you tuned into our channel last week and looked at our community videos, we did an amazing video with Marine Depot and Robert over there. Very educational, talks a lot about the product, and Reef Cell was one that we talked about. So um, definitely you can get this at Marine Depot, but if you're not sure, you can go to our website. We have um, in the top right side of the page, yeah. not, not the top banner, but on the side there's a list that says distributors yeah, and resellers. Yeah, you got a company, and then on the side there it's like where to buy or like uh, resellers. Yep. Company. And if you don't see a reseller in your area or, you know, I guess if you don't have Amazon or whatever, you can always find the distributor nearest you and give them a call. And they should be able to be tell you where you can find. You know, well, everywhere you get it is great. Um, I was actually saying that I think actually Marine Depot is a great source for it. Because yeah. even though they're online, um, they are, you know, if you can't find with your local resellers, we always encourage you to go to your local retailer first if you have it. But if you have to get online, yeah. you know, we encourage everywhere. But I will say the Marine Depot has a real advantage because they're actual fish people. Yeah, and they, they have, have a support people. phone number that you can call and talk to them, and they're they're always happy to answer any questions you might have, or you know. And so are we too. If you know for whatever yeah. reason, if you have any questions, you know, drop a comment here. Go find us on Instagram, Facebook. We're always happy to even talk to you. Even by phone. Yeah. yeah. Little, even by there's phone. There's a number on the little package. Yep. And, and you know, and if you actually haven't seen it, you should because Hillary did a great job. Um, you know, the interview was really informative. He asked a lot of sharp questions. It was. Um, and she answered them pretty well. Yeah, you know, it was really nice. Like, I know we do videos and stuff, but it's that was a different format. And I think, you know, he asked a lot of questions that you guys ask that I get asked a lot. And it's exciting, like, you know, just coffee talk. Yeah, and it's a more similar format to this. Yeah. It's sort of like you're just talking straight at the camera. You can sometimes talk to each other. But, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's great having you here, actually. And, it's, uh, it's always fun. So, actually, you may, you may tell them what you're, you're doing here. Oh, so while I'm here, <laughs> why, why am I here? So I, you saw the videos that I did for probiotics and I 
there's several other ones, the introduction vid video. Um, the Q&A, the yep. regular news Q&A. So this week we are going to be filming more videos for the upcoming year, telling you about, there'll probably actually be a video about reef cell, maybe in oh, a little bit. Oh, there definitely Yeah. <laughs> um, so just creating a whole bunch more content for this channel, but I think there's a special local adventure that we're going to get to go see that. Yeah, we'll save that. So uh, like. Uh, I can't, I'm not going to tell you, but. But I will say this also, if you guys um, right here have any, you know, we're actually planning out um, our week a little bit, because um, I will tell you that we're going to be a little more loosey-goosey with these. You are going to see more uh, sort of improv. Thank you. <laughs> um, but if you guys have anything you would like to see a video about, um, we're definitely going to take suggestions. Yes. So, like, you know, today is our big planning day, mm -hmm. um, and tomorrow through uh, Saturday is going to be our big filming day. So if today you have any suggestions, we'll check them, um, and we'll go over it to see if there's anything you want to know about. There's a pretty good chance, because we're always looking for content, oh, yeah. there's a pretty good chance that we'll actually make a video on the subject that you're interested about. Yep. And the interesting thing is it doesn't all have to be new life. I mean, I, we're obviously going to do new life. We're going to do new life. About our foods, about feeding. But one of the things we always do, and you should check out our you know, other videos if you haven't, one thing is I we always do is we talk about things that are not strictly new life. Like some of her videos are just about like conditioning fish and everything. And I don't think there's a barely a mention of new life in it, except for saying hi, I'm hungry for new life. Yeah. I mean like sometimes we'll talk about it, but you know, I personally I think that an educated consumer, like an educated hobbyist is a good hobbyist because you're gonna be successful and we want you to be successful. Yeah, and of course that's the basis for that's I will say that that's um that's a philosophy that we share. Um, if you look at a lot of our videos, they're not all strictly speaking just promo, 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 buy it. Yeah. And in fact when we first met, that was one of the things. So we had sort of that compatible vision of how you should market. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hey. Just hey. Fish. How are you today? How are you this evening? Uh, joining us from the UK. Uh, okay. Wayne? Is it Wayne? Hey! <laughs> hey. Hola. Oh, Yay! Uh, you guys are joining. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no, so, uh, yeah, so that was actually a big thing that we were compatible on. It's like education, yeah. marketing through education, because if you, the more you know about... Sorry there you about go. that. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, it's oh, funny. Wait. It's my own uh, YouTube account. There. I know. I was like, what? That's, Hold that's on. Raquel. <laughs> okay. Hey, Melvin. <laughs> so, actually, it's funny uh, because we have a, the official YouTube uh, channel. Um, you know, it has to be hooked. And so my yes. account is hooked to that. And uh, so, actually, Raquel, who, if you've ever called into the office, you probably have met, is actually watching it and sort of. Yeah. Uh, so. And if you've tuned into some of the other live streams, she's usually on there and is always happy to answer questions while we're going. So. Yeah, and I will say, uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, I guess now is a good time to do it. Yep. Because. Uh, yeah. Hit us up, answer. You know, a lot. She of does a great job, though. She knows. I mean, one of the things we did is, is, you know, when I first talked to her. It's really great because we didn't just get a pretty face who's a spokesmodel type, right? Um, well, that's pretty face, but that's not the uh, point. We got someone who was a marine biologist who did tank maintenance, who knows what about, who used our product before, mm -hmm. and that's really important. So whenever she says talks, she does know what she's talking about. But uh, like, I, I think I mentioned this on Instagram. Like, yes, I work for the company, but I use New Life when I did aquarium maintenance. New Life was the food that I put in the auto feeders, like. Those fish were fat and yeah. healthy. And I met her when she like hooked her way to Matna on her own. It wasn't like I went nope. out and found her, so she found me sort of. I mean, she wasn't actually trying to get a. I gig. wasn't. No, I was just. I don't remember why you were even. You were just curious, or. Yeah, I just so I used your food before. Right. And I'm like, hey, tell me about the new stuff, and you know, it's one thing like as a hobbyist, and you see foods on the shelves, but then you actually get to go to shows like Matna and you like see the companies and talk with the people. You know, um, I'm trying to think. There's somebody else that I talk to at the shows all the time. It's exciting to meet the face behind the company and, you know, hey, these are my favorite products. This is, tell me about them. And it's always exciting. Yeah, and she asked good questions and she <laughs> had like a, you know, I could tell and she had everything like that. So it's fun. So she's always great, but, uh, you know, if you have anything more, if you have anything, I'm also here. Yep. Um, and, you know, anything sometimes she, one of the nice things she is, she'll also, she's good about is if she doesn't know, she'll say, hey, let me find yeah. out. You know, she doesn't bluff it. No. So. I'm, 
I'm going to be honest with you. I want people to be honest with me. If I don't know the answer, chances are I'm sending him an email. Yeah. But, you know, she knows the answer almost all the time. So, <laughs> no worries. Um, but, yeah. And then uh, you were saying, actually, if any of you came yeah. over from Instagram, we have to make good on our promise. Yep. So, I like to, you know, we try and rehash everything that we did on Instagram and give you guys a little bit of an incentive if you've come from Instagram to watch our stream again. And, see, I'm going to hop out of the frame. Well, now to he decided to hide. He was yeah. like swimming around like a crazy <laughs> when we were there. But uh, let's see. Come yeah. on, buddy. There we go. So he's coaxed out. So here's our uh, pride here. He's actually from this local area. So uh, he's from the Caribbean, and we're from the Caribbean. Um, it's our Queen Angel, Freddie Mercury. Um, as I said, I, I call him Freddie Mercury because he's a male queen. Um, <laughs> so and also I love Queen. So, <laughs> Who doesn't love Queen? Exactly, who doesn't? So there he is. Um, we actually took a while to introduce some other uh, friends to his tank because one of the things you might know is angels aggressive. Yeah. Um, and so you had to be very careful when introducing them. Mm -hmm. So he was in here for a little while. Um, one of the ways we did this actually was pretty interesting. So when it came time to introduce uh, some buddies here, uh, what we did is we actually took him out of his aquarium <laughs> and we put him into a quarantine aquarium for a few days. And we put these guys in here um, and let them settle in because what that does is it basically short circuits his territoriality a little bit. Break up because, his yeah, dominance. Exactly. Because he's he's out of the tank. He's reintroduced to the tank. We rearranged the rocks just a little bit, so he's a little disoriented. It's different than it was yeah. before. And so now he's being introduced to what for him is seems like a new tank with new thing with new uh, buddies here, and so it keeps him from being aggressive. And it worked pretty well because he's he's not particularly aggressive and then we have our sail fin tang beautiful he's really really uh, the guy behind him. they can say they're really fat i mean <laughs> it's interesting that neither of these guys were this size when we got them we actually got them very small um, and so they're just uh living their life yeah. all right so we had a um, she liaised patiently over the internet to say hello Yes, she did. I'm sure she did. She's, she's, as I said, she's, she's great. Love to see a video where the ingredients of the food blends are broken down and explained in traditional dance by five three eight. That's a great idea. And uh, so one of the things we'll do. Now, by the way, some of these ideas, um, I will let you, these are going to be pre-chambered videos, like produced. So um, one thing is, is we're actually, I'm going to commit right now. We're going to do that. Okay. But you might not see it tomorrow because what we'll do is we'll do it. And what we do sometimes is we spend days and days and days covering everything possible. Yep. And then we sort of release them over time as we finish editing them and all that. So even if there's a subject you want, and I said we're going to do that one, yep. um, it will be a, it, it might not be tomorrow. You no. might see it in like March or April or May. Yep. Okay. But it will eventually go down. To aquatic equivalents. No problem. Yeah, good. That's a good question. That's a good one too. And actually, it's something we love talking about. It's actually really good for us to talk about it. Yeah. Because one of the things is we don't have a lot of uh, terrestrial ingredients in our, in our thing. The only thing I think we generally keep as terrestrial ingredients, one of the main things, is the binder, which we have to have. So I'll yeah. give you a little preview. The binder, which is wheat, although we've cut down that very substantially. Um, in fact, we have some of the lowest binder in, in the industry right now. Mm -hmm. um, but there is some, and some small amount of carbohydrates are good for fish, by the way, just not excessive. Um, and garlic, because for some reason, um, they love garlic. It's great for their immune system, despite the fact that that's not actually something that's found in their natural environment. Yeah. So it's one of those oddities of nature that it's very good for them, and they're super attracted to it, yet you don't find it. Yeah. Right? So allicin, which is the active ingredient in, in garlic, there's no, uh, there's no aquatic equivalent. But other than that, over the years, we've really cut down. We never had a lot, but we've really cut down on our terrestrial ingredients, just on the basis of how easy the digestion and the utilization. Yeah. But I'll get into we'll get into all yeah. that boring technical stuff later. <laughs> it's interesting. People ask yes. though, like people want to know. No, definitely. I mean, you guys want to know. All right. But, we gotta. Let's see. Hold on. We have area manager. Um. So. Was that Neil Hardy that you sent a message to? I'm trying to think. They would be the one that's our distributor over on your side of the pond. Um, one of the things you can always do 
Um, I will say, thank you. Um, one of the things I, like, here that's, my own, that's my own, that's uh, my own, actually, speaking of, uh, you guys are looking great, that, as I said, that's Raquel, and she can actually help you out on anything like that. Yeah. So, we can't actually, the thing is, the reason we don't send things directly, we always use our premier distributors mm -hmm. over, for instance, in different countries, is export problems, so I always, always yeah. have to get them to. Um, but what you can do is if you need some of that or you need some help with that mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you need to get some help and our distributor is not doing it or whatever or maybe didn't see it, mm -hmm. um, you can always contact us directly. Yeah. Um, and Raquel is super helpful. She's super on it. She is. And, she uh, <laughs> and she will help you out. So even something like a sample, um, even though we can't send it directly, um, you can say, hey, you know, we need it. I'm in UK. And we will try to sort of interact with our distributor to make sure it gets fast tracked and gets attention and yep. you know bugging and stuff like that. So thank um, you. Yeah, actually, um, just yeah. Yeah. Right. Wayne, Wayne is Wayne's your name, right? Um, if you will like leave a comment with your email, or if you will send an email to Raquel at nlsfishfood.com, she can help coordinate getting in touch with Neil Hardy and. And thank you for the love to uh, yeah. Freddie here. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. All right. Well, I think okay. that about wraps it up today. But as always, we will have these things every Monday. We start out on Instagram, um, 730 a.m. Pacific time, 1030 a.m. Eastern time. And we would love for you to join us. The conversations are always a thousand times more interesting when you guys get involved and join in the conversation. So... <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, Teddy, Wayne, everybody, thank you so much for joining. Look forward to hearing from you next week. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye. Guys. Bye.